good morning. Today I'm going to be talking to you about BPPV or benign paroxysmal positional vertigo. Uh, this is effectively a problem with dizziness but before we go on to that let's just explain a little bit about what dizziness is. Now your brain has a few ways of knowing where it is and how you're moving around. Uh, one of those is from the ear which feeds information to the brain and then from your feet which lets your brain know how you're moving on the ground and these match up with what your eyes are seeing to help your brain keep you balanced. Now when you get dizziness it's usually because one of these systems is uh, feeding back different information to the brain to what your eyes are seeing and that confuses the brain and creates dizziness. Now some symptoms of BPPV obviously are dizziness, uh, a loss of balance, you can also get some nausea and vomiting as well and these episodes tend to come on quite suddenly, you should move your head around. They tend to last around about a minute before they settle back down again and they become more common as you get older. Now the bit we're going to focus on today is the middle ear section of, uh, of dizziness as a whole, uh, which is the vestibular system. Now with BPPV, what happens is the information that's coming from the middle ear to the brain isn't matching up with what your eyes are seeing, and that's what creates your dizziness. Now if you think about what your middle ear does, is it helps to tell your brain how your head is moving around in space. It's kind of like a gyroscope. And then you have another section, which is your otolith here. Now the otolith is made up of some crystals at the top, a gel layer, and then a hair cell layer. And this helps you tell your brain how you're reacting to effectively gravitational forces, acceleration, deceleration, up and down type movements. Now these crystals at the top of the otolith here, they're constantly sort of breaking down, getting dissolved by the fluid, and then reforming as a natural process, which tends to increase a little bit as you get older. The problem with BPPV is that these broken down little bits of crystal fall into the ear canals here. Now when they fall into the ear canal, they disrupt the fluid flow within those canals and that gets, uh, creates a mismatch between the, what the ear is telling your brain and what your eyes are seeing. And that's why you get dizzy and nauseous and slightly unwell. Now luckily there's a very easy test to see if this is the problem that you're suffering from. It's called a dix Hallpike maneuver. It's very straightforward, it takes all of 30 seconds to perform. Uh, it's very conclusive to see if this is the problem you're suffering from. And then luckily there's a very quick and easy maneuver to help resolve this problem as well, which is called an Eflit maneuver. Um, and it's very, very effective. Uh, it usually takes maybe a, a couple of goes to then fully restore. Uh, your system by basically moving the crystals around the canal back into the otolith where they can dissolve as they should do over the next couple of days, fixing your dizziness and restoring your balance.